Hello everyone! Welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I'm Callie, here tonight with my friends Alicia and Michael, and we are going to be playing Firefly Misbehaven, a factions deck building game. So this game takes place in the universe of Firefly and Serenity, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, so I can't wait to do some fun quotes. <laughs> I'll see if anyone catches the references. Uh, it is a game that takes about 60 minutes to play for two to four players, ages 14 and up. And it's by Gale Force 9. So just in a second, in a minute here, we'll do the top down view where we'll show you everything uh, in the game and the setup. We've already set up for a three player game, which we'll be playing tonight. And then we'll, yeah, we'll do the game playthrough and we'll share what we think as we go. Uh, we'll explain how to play as we go. And um, that's about it. It'll be a full playthrough. Firefly misbehaving. Yep, uh, and each character, uh, or I should say each faction, is mm -hmm. going to be different. So I'm going to be playing with one faction, Callie and Alicia with another. Uh, I have Niska and Victor, which I believe are bad guys. Yeah, they're, you're the bad criminals, and then I'm Serenity. I'm the good criminals. <laughs> And then Alicia's the alliance, alliance, the corporate uh, ruler kind of and of I the you know, of the verse. <laughs> there were good criminals. <laughs> they, they're yeah, the, like you know Firefly. Robin Hood. She's yeah. like Robin Hood. Yeah. So she's Robin Hood. You're um, the the bad king, <laughs> and then I'm like the king. even worse. But I'm, I'm like her, but the bad version of her, basically. The one that actually, yeah. The, You've never seen Firefly or Serenity or anything like that. Like if I steal. Um, something for someone, but I discover that it's medicine that people really need. Instead of giving it to the bad criminals and fulfilling my deal, I'll actually go and and it'll mysteriously reappear for the people to have their good medicine. Right? But but <laughs> hopefully you'll sell it for a profit of some sort. So, yeah. At least yeah. make some money off make of it. Money. Yeah, just just yeah, be a little, be yeah. a little more fortuitous. I gotta, I gotta still make money, but do it while still. You know, keeping some good in the verse. <laughs> okay, uh, a little uh, note too is we have artwork for uh, Zero Day that's come in. I'll be sharing mm -hmm. that on um, our Patreon this week, and then mm -hmm. I'll also share it on Discord shortly thereafter, so you can take a look at the art from Zero Day. What do you guys think of the art? I love the player boards. They're coming along so cool. Like the sort of feeling of the game is really, really unique and fun. It's cool. Yeah, I really like the different players. I wish they were blue. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might have each each different player board have a different color. That's what yeah, I was that's thinking. Yeah, that's fun. Like, people like choosing yeah. colors. We know Alicia always loves to choose blue. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get into Firefly Misbehaving, a faction deck building game uh, by yep. Jack Rita, published by Gale Force 9. Michael, go take us to the top down. All right, now I'll take this out of the way. All right, here you have the top down view, and you can see um, our we each have our player boards for our different factions. So I have Serenity, the gold player. Alicia is Alliance, the blue player, and Michael is Niska, the red player. So we have the different factions. Um, and this is our main like tableau where area where we'll be playing the cards that we're going to kind of keep in our tableau in order to get to the 13 influence points on our tableau, which is the victory condition for three players uh, in this kind of beginner starter setup game. Yep. Uh, then we have our supply board and this has stacks of cards that are all all of the same type of card right so the black these are kind of the cards that will be bad cards in our deck that we'll have to work to, to remove uh, and then there's some other cards i don't know what all yeah, they do so, yet yeah shiny is going to give us value uh palaver is, is going to let us do um uh, deals, deals. Yeah. The, the misbehaving is a combat card and then we have two maneuver cards which can only be activated if we have a ship we have crazy ivan and full burn there's also an additional set of about i believe 40 or 50 cards where if you wanted to play with instead you can of switch these out yeah instead of crazy ivan you can play with i don't know um the Fei Wu, I believe. There's a negotiation card you can change, double cross for combat, and then the dart instead of full burn. So a bunch of other additional cards you can use. Right. There's also reavers here on the side. I'm not sure how they were set up or how this was to go. Are these separate? Um, 
I didn't read anything about them, so maybe they're maybe part they're of the episodes. episodes. Yeah, because yeah. there's a bunch of different episode cards here, which we can play to change the game's rules and how we win. We're going to play mm -hmm. the base game, which does not involve episode cards. Correct. And then over here, you have the main cards that you'll buy that will be, you know, recycled through your deck or played onto your your player area. Uh, and there's three three different decks here. Um, Michael, you said there's a Yeah, you can look rim, even says on right? here, you have the rim deck. And yep. then you can look on the bottom of the card, too. This one here is the border deck. And then over here is the core deck. And they kind of represent the different areas in the verse in the... In the, um, in the series. Yeah, series, in the yeah. series. So that's fun. Then on our player boards, we have our deck to the side here, uh, as well as our... our Reference, reference card yeah. so this is going to be a little bit different for everybody we have different ways we can use our verse tokens and how we gain them is a little different as well but these are our tokens that allow us to do additional you know actions or modify different actions in the game uh, we have some credit tokens we all start with the one credit token which will be used in making deals and then over here we'll have a recycle which is where our discarded cards will go <clears throat> before we reshuffle and put them into our deck. Okay, so let's All go ahead right. and just start the game off. You guys can watch as we play, and we'll try and give you an example of what you can do and how you play on your turns. Yes. Yeah. So the first thing we do is... Draw five that's cards, right, Draw five right? cards. So you make sure your deck <laughs> is nice and shuffled, and just like most deck oh, builders, you're going to draw five cards from your deck. I don't know if this was shuffled or not. <laughs> I shuffle all the decks before you Okay, great. Playing. But I think you might want to shuffle your own. Okay, I've got my five cards. All right, got five as well. And the player who starts is the person who most recently misbehaved. I feel like that's definitely Michael. Okay. I don't know what he did, but I'm sure he did something. All right, so I'm going to not need the verse counters for now. I'm going to keep track of my turn with the turn actions. Yeah. Um, and I can do, in any order, these different things. I can activate... Activating allows me to either play a card to my tableau if it's an asset, character, or item. I can recruit by picking one card from the supply here and earning it while spending my influence, which is represented on the bottom of these cards here. It could be zero, one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. uh, I can also pick a fight by choosing this fight token and then placing it on one of another player's asset, character, or items. And then we'll attempt to fight each other utilizing power. Um, and of course having a card that will let you fight, like the mercenary here with a gun, I could make a deal, which is going to let me basically play cards uh, to my display area, utilize credits, and cards from my display area, uh, my asset board, uh, to buy any card from here. Uh, those are my activations, I can do one of those. I can recruit, which will allow me to buy either from the supply or from uh, the, uh, I guess, additional supply area. Uh, and I can spend my influence to buy one of those. I can earn a verse token, and everybody earns verse tokens differently. On mine, it says I have to have one untriggered character, and I have to discard a card from my hand that has exactly three influence or power. That will let me get a token, and I can use my tokens to do different things. Mine will let me reactivate, re-trigger, uh, draw a card, retain a card uh, when using it for fighting, and I can replay a card with this specific green symbol on it. And then... Um, finally, I'll end my turn by drawing back to five cards. I'll discard everything that I have in my display area, leave everything on my board here, and draw five cards, minus one for every card that has been activated on my player board here. Okay? So let's go ahead and start. Where's um, the other starter deck? Is it this one? No, it should be in the uh, box. Why? Okay. This is not the right deck. Oh, okay. I picked the wrong one. It's <laughs> Okay. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and do an activation, which is going to let me basically either play a card. I'm going to recruit, actually, first, I think. So what do I want? Um, let's see. Well, over here, this one says I can pay three credits. I can activate this pay three credits to dispatch a character in any player's tableau, even my own. So I can get rid of characters in players' areas. Yep. Trigger this card to draw a card whenever I play a maneuver. Trigger this card to gain a credit when I make a deal. When this is used in a fight, I draw a card and then discard a card from my hand. Uh, I have four credits. Like, only buy stuff worth four. Discard this card from your tableau to draw a card and uh, draw a card or cycle a card in the market. Ooh. So, cycle will mean you'll dis discard it to, and shuffle it into this deck and place new ones out. 
Hmm. Do I want to? That's four, though. It's pretty expensive. Discard this card into another player's recycle pile I to gain an activation. All the cards feel kind of expensive. So these might be the most better choices: the Early Mega game. Deal card or the Shiny. So this one here says I can play to my display area to gain three credits, or I can gain two credits and cycle any two market cards. Hmm. I only have one Make a. Oh, I have two Make a Deal cards. But do I have enough? I can't do it, I don't think. I don't think I can activate and recruit at the same time. So I think maybe I'll get something. Hmm. All right. I will go ahead and play N uh, Niska, which will let me get two currency. I'll get this shiny and it'll go into my recycle pile. Um, and then that is my, that's my recruit. So now I can activate. Which one is the dollars again? Uh, the bottom right. This one? The bottom right. That one? Yes. I think I'll recruit a Skyplex. So this is an asset, so it's going to go to my asset area. And it says that I can discard a maneuver to cancel a maneuver. It is discarded without effect. So I recruited a shiny, and uh, uh, and then I activated by placing my Skyplex. I don't want to earn a verse token, nor can I, nor could I, and I don't want to spend any either. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard the rest of the cards in my hand, including the ones from my display area, and draw back up to five cards because I have nothing tapped in front of me or activated in front of me. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. I have only two dollars, so I use that to buy this. Okay, so that's your recruit, yep. Now you can activate. You can play a card into your display area. You can trigger a card in, in your display. How many dollars does that cost? It's nothing. It's free to play one. And remember, you're trying to get to, we're trying to get to uh, 13 points, and right now I have three, so I'm mm -hmm. winning. Okay. You could also make a deal if you have a card with a handshake symbol on it. It'll let you spend your credits as well as spend cards in your hand or on your tableau to buy again, basically to recruit. It's a bonus recruit action, but allowing you to use credits to do so. So can I get one of these because I have an untriggered... Oh, that's not a character. Damn. Yeah, it has to yeah. say character. And yeah. all the cards will say what they are in the bottom middle. Mine's an asset, yours is an asset. Okay, then that's it. They all go to recycle. Yes. And then you draw five. So this says influence of this card is equal to the number of other core space cards in play. Okay, so, so you're she has do... multiple of those, probably. Yeah, probably. Because the alliance rules the core. And she can use oh, so basically that she can use these to make a deal, right? That's kind of what it's for. Because it's going to give her more uh, influence. Yeah, the influence. Influence is what you use, yeah, to buy, recruit cards and make a deal. Right, and she couldn't play this from her hand, though, right? Um, uh, or can she? It says other core space cards in play. Yeah. So if she could play it in her display, if and she played she two, two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have more of these uh, in your, if you play, like, two of these in your display, it's going to give you uh, the number of other core space. Oh, it would give you one, it would be one so point for each. So what if I put it in the asset? Uh, to, so if you put in your assets, you will have to make a deal. And when you make a deal, you'll discard a card with a, a handshake. Like, for instance, if I discarded this guy, he has a little handshake marker mm -hmm. on him. I can get his influence, plus any influence of cards I have on here that I want. I can discard them, as well as credits. So if I wanted to, I could play for a deal. Three, four, five. Now I can buy something worth five. And that would be instead of making... Um, an activation, which is playing a card, triggering a fight, or triggering a card. Okay, <clears throat> my turn. For my activation, I'm going to play Heidi Hole. So later, allow me to discard this card from my tableau, then discard a targeted card in my command area to evade a fight. Uh, and then I will play Malcolm Reynolds. He's going to give me two influence, so I can recruit. 
uh, shiny. I go here. And I think I don't want to spend verse tokens or do anything else, so that'll be it. All right. My turn. I'll draw five. Here's an item I'm going to play as my activation. It's a Tiffany lamp. And it says I can discard this from my tableau to gain a recruitment or an activation. And then I can recruit, but I don't have any money. I can make a deal if I had, I don't have anything to make a deal with. Um, our starter deck supposed to be 10 cards, right? Yes. Okay. Did you have an extra card there? Yeah. Mm, discard card from my hand or tableau. And another card from your hand. I'm going to discard Crow and Writings of Sean Yu to gain two credits. Because it says, Crow says I can discard him from my hand or tableau and add another card and another mm -hmm. card to get two credits. So I can do that as many times as I want if I have cards like that. Uh, discard card from my hand. That's it. I'm done. These are going to go. No money there. Okay, so if I put these two, is it three dollars or two dollars? Uh, so this is in, it's a number of core space um, in play. So right now you have one there, so this is worth one, and then this one says no. This is in play too. That's two. Uh, it's it's other core space. Oh, other. other. Oh, okay. 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 And this one says it counts as a core space uh, when played or moved to your display area with another core space card. This card has no influence. Well, you could play this here then, I suppose, because it's not worth any money on its own. You know what I'm saying? This has no this, this has no dollar amount. It counts as a core space. It does count as a core space. So if you put it here. Okay. For your activation. Now you have one, two, three core spaces. Okay. This will get plus one for every other core space, which means it's now a two. Oh, okay. So two dollars. Uh -huh. And you just made a, that was an activation to play that there, so you still can recruit. Uh -huh. If you have any more money down, you can do that as well. There's Two, and then how much is that? One, $1 that's three. Three dollars. When she says dollars, she means influence. Uh -huh. <laughs> the main currency. She says dollars for every game we play for any <laughs> currency. But it's, they make it so confusing when you change the word of dollars. Well, they don't have dollars in this universe. They have credits. <laughs> um, I can get. You get. You get a credit from the supply when you play or move this card to your display area for any reason. So that's giving you credits. Uh, this gives you credits. These things you can't play unless you have a vehicle. This lets you steal credits. Reset a card. What You're talking like way away from the microphone. <laughs> what is reset a card? Cards that become tapped or oh. activated can be untapped slash reset. So normally you'll do that before your next turn. But that'll yeah. let you do it earlier so then you can still draw cards. I guess I'll buy this one. Okay. And those and everything from your hand is cards. And now I shuffle them back. Yep, and now it's Callie's turn. Okay. For my activation, I'll play You Can't Take This Guy From Me. I'll be able to discard this card from my tableau to gain one activation. But I'll have to add the black to my recycle pile. Uh, then I will play three cards for their influence here, and I'll get a palaver. Right? One credit. Sure. You gain a credit from the supply whenever you play or move this card to your display area. So basically giving you one dollar. Mm-hmm. 
And I'll discard this one. Now, what's the difference between these two? Like, why would you buy, why is that one more expensive? So this will allow you to make a deal. Do that deal action, activation. Oh, okay. So this one just gives me credits, but I can't make a deal with it. Mm -hmm. I see. All right, my turn? Yes. And making a deal is the way you'll be able to recruit, but for your activation, and it goes directly to your hand, and you'll also be able to add credit and other cards to it to, to get more influence. So it's a way to get pricier cards. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play Shiny. Uh, it lets me gain three credits. So shiny. Lots of money. <laughs> he knows how to make money, this guy. All right, I'll play Crow again, and I'll discard Victor. It's going to let me have two more credits. Is there a limit to credits I can have? It, I did not see anything about that. But they can only really yeah, be used so in the much. deal. Okay, an eight. Uh, these are just, these function the same way as influence though, right? But only when making a deal. Correct. Okay. So this is a vehicle here, Young Key, right? But I need this in order to play a Crazy Ivan or a Full Burn. Mm hmm. Bonnie May as well. Yeah, you need a ship. <clears throat> what is cycle any two market cards? So to cycle, you choose two cards, these two or these two, and you put them into this deck, shuffle them, and put out two new cards. Oh. So if you don't like what's for sale, you can cycle them. Okay, I'm going to play a mercenary as an asset. It, uh, add one power to this mercenary when used in a fight for each credit you spend up to two and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, that was my uh, oh I can't that won't let me make a deal then I would have to just buy well this is three hmm I wish there was a card let me draw more cards <laughs> All right, uh, shoot, do I want to just use, oh, activation, but then I can't, yeah, I'll just spend him for three more, three money, to get this nutrition bar. Ooh. That's it. Okay. This, uh, it lets me discard this card into another player's recycle bin, uh, and I get an activation. Oh, nice. So it'll that's, help everybody that's else good. out. Yeah. yeah, for you guys, too. Uh-huh. I gain three credits. Oh, and when you play your shiny, that shiny's going to go back into the supply. Mm -hmm. It oh, doesn't okay. stay. Sadly. Okay. Gain one credit when you play... Gain a credit from the supply. And then... And now you can also make a deal. Or use the influence to recruit. Okay. Deal is the other action, right? Mm-hmm. It's yes. It basically lets you buy one of these things, but you can now use credits and cards from here. And the value here. Mm -hmm. Do these go away? But it counts as an yeah. activation. These will go away. If you sell them, yes. Oh. So you have, if you do. You have some credits, though. So, so you haven't, you haven't played anything here. No. And you haven't bought anything, so you still have an activation and a recruitment. But your activation would be making a deal. So the only thing else, other than act, uh, making a deal, is going to be recruiting another one of these guys. I don't have money to recruit another one. So I can only. I don't have money in here to recruit. Right. Right. So I could only recruit with this guy. So making a deal would be better for you then, because you would have these credits you can use. But then I'd have to use these two? No. Oh. Just you have the option. 
Oh, okay. Then I will just use this. So one. you're going to recruit. So when she plays this card, Kelly, mm -hmm. now because she played it, she can use this make a deal, correct? So, yeah, she's either using it to make a deal or, or to recruit, right? In addition to her getting this ability, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, she's not going to recruit because recruiting, she only has two influence. Yeah. So she wants to use the credits she's stored up. Yep, yep. So she's going to make a deal. Mm, but no, actually, because I don't have other money to recruit, because then I would only have one action. So I have to use it to recruit. So I guess I'll just get this, because that's all I can get. Wait. No, that's four. Yeah. Okay, so this this got you two. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're also, you also Does can now... Does this go over here? Uh, yes, yes, it does. Okay. <clears throat> so, now I can put a guy because I don't have any more. Yeah, money. you recruited, so you have an activation. What you put? What'd you put? Radio operator. What does he do? Read it. Discard this card from your tableau to look at the top card of any player's deck. Leave it there or discard it. Okay. Right um, now, you have three, four, five power. So now I can get a blue thing. Why? Because I have a guy now, and he's not... What's the total? You have to have a guy that's un... Untriggered. And? Yep. And you have to discard from your hand or tableau with at least two power and two influence. Oh, man. Both? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your turn's over, then. Yeah. Draw five. For mine, I need at least four power. I don't have a character. What? I think I'm going to play a character. I'm going to play Zoe. And, um, I'll go ahead and activate her. So I can draw two cards, then discard one hand, one card from my hand. All right. I will discard this one. And now I'm going to going to. Um, now I'm going to play cards to recruit. One, two. This one will let me gain a two, three, gain a credit. Is it yeah, so when you play your cards. You can you get their ability and you can use them for to buy, use as currency. Yeah. Okay. So they're all in your display area here. Is the lightning bolt or, like the tap symbol? Yes. Five. Usually they have a cost to them though. Discard a card. Is that what it says? Yeah. Then yeah. Trigger this card to draw a card when you play a maneuver. Oh. That's nice. I don't have any yet, but that could be fun. Gain one credit when you make a deal. No. Okay. I'll do do shiny and gain three credits. I remember those all go. They'll those go, go back. To supply. Yeah, yep. that's why I separated them here. And I have six, so I'll buy. I'll do as as rev. When this is used in a fight, draw a card, then discard a card from your hand. It'll go up to my asset area, and it's a ship and a fight card. Okay, and then this will be discarded. These will go here, and these will go back. And a new one will come out for Michael, and it's your turn, Michael. Okay. Three. Oh, I'll draw my five cards. There's four. Oh, yeah, because I bought more cards. <laughs> my deck is small now. I have a lot on my tableau. I have... I have seven power. Uh-oh, getting too way. close. No, only halfway. 
And I can only draw four cards now because I have a triggered character. Alright, so the first thing I can do is I'm going to do an activation. And I will play out Victor. Uh, Victor says that I can activate him uh, to discard a card from my hand and then draw a card. And I gain an activation. But I use my activation to play him, sadly. Okay. Ooh, I want to... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this card from my tableau to gain a recruitment or an activation. I'm going to gain a, um, an activation. So now I gain my activation back. I played him as an activation. Mm -hmm. I spent my lamp to gain a new one back. Um, I am going to activate him. So I tap him or I activate him. Uh, then I draw a card and I gain one activation again. So now I've got it back. Dang it, that did not do, <laughs> do what, what I wanted you wanted to do. To do. <laughs> hmm. Shoot. Now, if I want to make a deal, can I actually take Victor and put him out? Oh, he has to be unactivated, though. He has an activation, he has a symbol that has a deal, Callie. Now, if yeah. I wanted to, he w if he was unactivated, I could bring him out to make a deal, right? Uh, I'm not sure. To make a deal, play a card with the deal attribute from your hand or remove an untriggered card with the deal okay. attribute there from you your tableau to your display yeah. area. Yeah. I was hoping I'd draw into a card that actually had a deal on it, but yeah. sadly none of these guys do, and they also have no influence except for this guy. He has one. Oh, ouch. So I have an activation... I guess I can just play another card down, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You can build your your tableau more, your command area. Oh, man. Okay, I guess I'll play... I'll play Crow out. He lets me discard him from my hand or tableau and another card to cancel a deal or gain two credits. Yes. And... That is my activation. I cannot recruit because nothing is worth one except for the black, which is a bad one. Get it. No. You don't want that one. <laughs> That's a bad Can I stuff. earn a verse token? It's free. The way I earn verse tokens is I have to have at least one untriggered character and discard a card from my hand with three power or three influence. I don't have that either. I could spend a verse token, which will let me retain or replay a card that has that symbol. I don't. All right. That's it. Please go. I am done. I put this guy out. Now, I'm going to draw four cards instead of five, though, because Victor's tapped here. Yep. Trigger this card and another card in your tableau on your turn to gain one activation. Oh, okay. yeah. And this is five dollars. Two, three, and then this one is two. So five dollars. To get this one. Wow, it was a hundred and seven here. We're up in we're up in California though, in yeah. the desert area, so it's hot. Very That's hot today. This it. week is the hottest. I want some <laughs> snow. That'd be nice. I'm running my AC like crazy. Alright, How much power that? do you have? Three, four, five, six. Callie five, has seven. two, four, five, seven, and I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh really? Really. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't take the sky from me. Need to go burn some dead bodies. Oh. Hey, that's what these guys that's did. That's not. <laughs> that's what they did. That's not how the song goes. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. I don't know what. I know I want to get that one for. I don't have enough. No. So I need to buy some shinies, I think. Okay. So buy shinies. Then I could... Oh, this gets untapped. Yes. Everything uh, re uh, um, is unactivated. Uh, yeah. Untriggered. Did you draw only four cards, though? Yeah. yeah. you did. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I don't like that. Okay, I'll play the brown coat, 
I'm not going to activate it. I'm going to, yeah, I'll play this to recruit, go to, to recruit shiny. Okay. Then to get a verse, I'll play these two that have four power. Yep. And I have one untriggered character. And I'll get my verse token. And I'm done. All right, I'm gonna play Niska, but this time I'm going to use them to make a deal for my activation. So he's gonna give me three influence, and I have a mm -hmm. lot of credits, and I wanna yeah. buy something big and juicy. You can buy juicy. something shiny. <laughs> I'm gonna spend three additional credits to get this one here. This is, says, trigger this card to draw a card when you play a maneuver. Now when I buy this card, this is gonna go in my discard pile. Correct, yeah, your recycle. Okay, so that was my activation. So I can, hmm, I can recruit right now. But I only have two dollars. Um, okay, this is, I have two here. It'll give me a shiny. Activate. Oh, this one taps. Um, I'll discard this into Alicia's discard pile, and it'll give me another activation. And my activation is to play another mercenary. And that's it. So I activated by buying a card and then I recruited shiny and then I gave her a nutrition bar which lets me have another activation to play a mercenary I have mm -hmm. no cards left display to discard pile and I'm going to draw five because I have no activated cards in my tableau one two okay I'm going to put this one there what does it say Shuffle your recycle pile and draw a card at random from it. Do you want to activate it? Trigger it? Um, Basically, sure, you'd get the one card in your discard <laughs> <laughs> into your hand. So this one says trigger this card and another card to gain one activation. So You guys are going to want to fight me, by the way. Um, oh, it doesn't say without effect. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I have know. ten points. Yeah. If I at, if I three. begin my turn with thirteen, I win. Mm -hmm. And then I'm watching you, Michael. I How know. do you even fight? So you need a card in your hand that has the fight, or bring one up from your tableau. And like then for you instance, add power I have this to torturer. It. This torturer is got a fight symbol on it. Which means I can use its activation. I can use my activation to fight. And then it's got a power of one. So I can add additional powered cards, right, Callie? Yep. To um, try and fight something. And so if I chose to fight my sky, uh, Skyplex with this guy, it has five defense. So I need to add an extra four power. And I think it's equal to or greater than power to defeat it, right? Yeah. So yes. I added another card that was four power. That would be five. And then the defender would add a card, and then we'd go back and forth until somebody, it resolved, and we mm -hmm. found out what happened. Mm -hmm. If you win, you can either discard that card or gain the card into your hand. And if you lose, the card stays there. So, yeah, when you trigger the fight, you're going to declare if you want to steal it or if you want to just force it to be discarded when, when if you win. <laughs> Can I discard this right now to get an activation? You can. You discard and you put it in somebody's discard pile. There you go. So you have two activations. Oh, wait. Um, oh, did you untap the, did you tap these last turn? No. Just now. Uh, you can only... Oh, that that would be your trigger. You can only trigger one card. Oh, she but gained it's... an activation from it, though. Oh, okay. No, this says trigger this card and another card to gain one activation. It doesn't say she doesn't use the ability...
So technically I have two more activations <laughs> from that and from that because I only played this card. Yes, uh, that doesn't have the trigger symbol, so it's not going to cost her to trigger it, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it just stays like this? No, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's triggered. Yeah. yeah. But that one did cost. Uh, yeah, but it just this has triggered this card and another. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah, this did cost you a trigger. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do this and not gain the bonus. This is allowing you to tap this guy for free, basically. Uh -huh. He lets you tap any one trigger card in your in your on your field, which you only have this one for free. Mm -hmm. So how many guys can I put? Um, on your turn, what have you done so far? The first thing you did, I put this one. You played one down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you had you had this guy already here, right? Uh huh. Then you played this oh, guy. Oh, you played this. So that's your, activa yeah, that that's your, your activation. activation. Uh huh. Uh, then then you tap this guy to activate uh -huh. this for free. Okay. So you have, that's that's zero still. Uh -huh. And you get to do this. Shuffle your recycle pile. Yeah, which was that. And draw a card. Uh-huh. Now you have a recruit and zero activations. Then you play the nutrition, which gives you an activation. So now you have one activation and one recruit. That's your activation to play the marine there. And okay. you can recruit if you have any money to purchase anything. Oh, by the way, this is going to be refreshed at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Womack. Womack. Also, um, War Room. I don't actually know what that is. Sorry, Jack, look into that. I just have three dollars. It's more dollars than I had. Which is this one. You can also buy these if you, oh, you don't have enough. Just could. Okay. In order to use these two, remember, you have to have a vehicle, though. A vehicle would be something like Bonnie Mae. It has a little vehicle symbol at the bottom. This one? Uh, that would be a vehicle. Yep, the Thunderbird. So I can use it? You can. Okay. okay, discard. All these go into your discard pile. And then you're going to draw cards, five, minus the number of activated cards, so three. Yep, perfect. All right, Kelly, you're up. Yeah, okay. All right, don't worry about me, though. I'm easy going. Um, no, I gotta get you. <laughs> Why? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten power. That still weighs away, right? Alicia's Sorry. at five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm only one higher than Alicia. I'm going to start a fight with so Michael. So you're going to activate, yep, yeah. and your activation is fight. Uh -huh. I'm going to choose one of my cards. Crow. Because he's only got four defense. I think that's, the, yeah, and, it's three, and he's got three power. So that was a pretty hefty one for you. And my declaration of the fight is I just want you to discard it and do your recycle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, dispatch instead of nab and right now I have two power so I need to get up to four so I'll play this this one so now I'm at four power now you have a chance to add power to your four defense from my hand yep or or your area here Ooh. I'll go ahead and I'll add a torturer he's got plus one power okay I'll add plus one as well. He's just going to get recycled. He's not, I'm not trying to steal him or anything. I'll play a Tiffany lamp for plus one more power. All right. I got to bring out the big gun. Serenity to plus three power. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> I could add this guy, right? Uh, I think so. Will you check and make sure on the fight? I think it just has to be untriggered. Um, players take turns. Both players make need to add cards with the fight attribute to the fight. Oh, with the fight oh, attribute. Oh, they have that fight on them. So oh, no, I'm my. just adding my torturer then. But it could be from your tableau. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Okay, then I have to add from me down here. The targeted card in another player's tableau uses its cost as its defense value. The targeted card may not use its power. The targeted card mm -hmm. may, uh, ability or any other value um, 
effect during the fight, and it can't be discarded before the fight is resolved unless another card or effect would allow another player to discard it. The controller of the targeted card may play or move untriggered cards with the fight attribute from their display area, adding the power of those cards to the target's card defense value. So I could use my display. Both mm -hmm. players may continue to add cards with the fight attribute to the fight until one is unable to or unwilling to do so, and the player with the higher total wins. Both players may use any activations they have or gain during the fight. Okay, great. But any activations the defending player has when the fight is resolved are lost. Okay, so I played my ship from here, so that'll get me to four. Then you played that to get you to five. And now I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to activate Zoe to draw two cards and discard one. Uh, and then I can add Mal to the fight. Ooh, for plus two? Yeah, so I'm at six. You're at six. I'm at five? Mm-hmm. So You're I can... getting rid of your victory points when you do that, too. You're rid of this guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, this is worth three. He's only worth one. Yeah. So I'm going to add plus one because he has the fight symbol. Uh -huh. And I can add plus one power. Um, uh, I'll add just plus one more, up to two in, in credits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? No, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> um. Don't worry about it. <laughs> then... Oh, I can't do that one. Okay. You did make me lose a card, though. I lost my mercenary because I didn't move it off. Mm hmm. But it's only one. I've spent so much. Nothing on your board, though, like me. Yeah, I did. Oh. I had to because I didn't have anything with fight. Okay. <laughs> so I lost two. Uh, that's it. I, I can't do anything. So okay, I so lose. these are. Everything goes to the discard pile. Yes. The winner. Is gonna get um, your choice. You can get one credit. Of, yeah, I can get a uh, credit, or you can draw a card, or gain one of my versus tokens from the supply. Yeah. And I think. Oh yeah, I want a verse token. Okay. That gives me activations. Okay, it's still my turn. I still have a recruitment that I can do. Yep. So. Played this one. Oh, if I retain. No, I don't have it out. Okay. No, I never Two. heard of that either. Necro hamster. I'll do four, and I'm going to get three here for four. Okay. And this will go here and get three credits. Man, you rich. Shiny. Anything else? And then, nope, that's it. All right, new card comes out. And you'll draw four cards, because you activated a card. Yes. All right. I'm going to play the Yonki. This is an asset. It's a ship. Oh, it's Oh, three. speaking of which, this is an asset. This goes up here, dear. Oops. That's okay. <laughs> so this says I can Maybe. trigger this card to draw a card whenever I play a maneuver. That gives me plus three, though. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. So I was off by... One. Okay, good thing I did fight you then. <laughs> Four cards. Uh, I think I'm going for broke here. I'm going to spend my verse tokens, two of them, to gain an extra activation. And I'll play a Tiffany lamp item. There we go. 13. What? No big deal. Uh, uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm fighting. Now, I, I couldn't have been fought again, but uh, you'll have either one of you. Only only one person can fight me per round. Yeah. Okay. So I I took my two activations. I can't. Oh, I can buy something. I'll use my Nesca for three. Uh, this is useless. So I can buy a Palaver. Uh, that's it. Your turn, Alicia. 
These on top? Yep. Okay. Oh, Necro Hamster is a game based uh, off of the designers of Frontier Enchanted Land. Oh, I love that game. Yeah, that is a new Ooh. game they're making, apparently. <gasps> oh, gotta check that out. <laughs> Necro <laughs> Hamster. <laughs> Never heard of it. There you go. There's a plug. Where is my make a deal? I don't have any make a deal. Uh -oh. You don't have any symbols for the making a deal? I don't know what happened. I so I th one. these ones, when you use them, they go back here. No, but I had one in my original deck. Oh, wait, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Guy. That's the yeah. guy. <laughs> my deck's yeah, nice. Yeah, I think everyone has one. My, yeah. I, I have two, I think. I have Victor, and then I also have uh, Adelineska. Adelineska. Niska. I got Zoe and Mal. Okay. The alliance makes less deals. Yeah. Yeah. So at They're... first I have my shiny. They just yep. take what they want. So that's going to give you three credits. You're rich. Three credits. And then this guy has to make a deal. Yep. So you have two credits right now that you can spend or two influence. And you can add as many credits as you want. So you can add a lot. To buy anything you want on this board, basically. So you're at two right now. But I can only buy one thing. Yes. So, so this would be five. Yep. So I can get this one. The Bonnie May. Another ship. <laughs> oh. And when you make a deal, it goes to your discard pile. Oh wait, this. The only time a card goes to your hand is in a yeah. fight. No, no, make a deal, it goes to your hand. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a fight it's too. It's when you recruit, it goes to your discard. And when you steal from a fight, yeah. Oh, but it will go to the discard pile at the end of the turn if you don't yeah, use it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you still have to, like, be able to use it. Okay. Um, so I used this guy. That was my activation, though. Yeah. So now you can recruit. You I can, can use a token. Dang you can gain a token. I need a token to... I can't get a token either. A token? Oh, you need a, an, um, one, of, one of these guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take two it. and two, you need to be able to spend. To I do don't have it. Activation or to issue a warrant. Oh. You don't have a core space? No. Okay, because if you had a core space, you could sack this and the core space, and you get and you get a token. Because you sack. sacrifice remove. Sack what? If you had a core space, it would you would have two things that count as a core space, which would give you a two for the purple That's side, purple. and then you can get rid of this one, which has or three, this which one, which is two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't do anything else. Okay. So these just have to discard. All right. Okay, this comes out. All right, Kelly, you gotta beat up. me. I gotta fight you again. Yeah. Uh, I don't have. Thirteen is what I've got. You got a fight card. I see it. Yeah, and then I have nothing. I know. I have no cards in hand. If it makes you feel better. Oh, okay. How do you have no cards? You didn't draw? Oh. I probably should have, huh? Yeah. Okay, now you can have a card. <laughs> Just card card. Hmm. When do I cut? Tell me. Right there. This one? Yeah. <laughs> I need to do... An activation, an extra activation, I think. Oh, okay, I could use these two. Yep. Okay. So, I can't use her because I might need her to fight. But I can activate this guy, trigger this guy to draw a card. Alright. 
Oh, that doesn't help me right now. So you still have one extra activation, though. Yeah. Oh, no. I, if, once I spend it. Yeah. yeah. That didn't help. <laughs> Two and two. Okay, I'll spend this. Okay. So you have an extra activation now? Yeah. To play this one, Bree, the character, discard a card with a ship asset. Does it activate as soon as it comes into play? You can, oh. yeah. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah, you can always. Trigger them when they come into play. Oh. I thought to activate them you have to turn them to the side and it costs an activation. It does later. But when you play it, you can just play you can trigger it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't I thought that was clear. No. Um I didn't know that either. Oh, okay, well now you we want me to never mind. No, go <laughs> ahead, continue. Okay. Discard a ship card to draw two cards. Yeah, play a card from your hand to the okay, tableau. You may immediately trigger it. Yeah. Uh, now I can discard this one to gain an activation. And I'll have to add a black to my recycle. Okay. And now I can fight. So Azrev going to fight. Oh, you have an easier one. I didn't see. Okay. You have a two, four, four, three, five, yeah. six. Wait, no, it doesn't have a fight symbol. I can't target that one. Oh, you can only target ones that have a fight mm -hmm. symbol? Yes, the mercenary. And then three, so I need to do more. So I'll add the frontier model eight. B is going to join us. For What's four. Four, to four total? Mm hmm Um... All my stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry. And my, I have to declare if I'm stealing it or. Um, Are you dumping it? Oh, credit. That's cool. I'll steal it. Okay. How much? So I'm at. Four, I have three. How much do you have total? Four. Um, I'll play my mercenary. And spend one money, putting me to five. Five. No. I have to do this one. Play Zoe. Okay. Six. Six. <laughs> Is it worth it to get rid of my crow? It's not. I'm going to lose. Okay. You beat me. And you're stealing this from me? Yeah. It goes to your hand, doesn't it? Uh, I, I mean, it doesn't matter, I don't think. It'll go to your discard at the end of the turn, but... He, yeah, he doesn't I'm have pretty any sure money. Nab, because that's what you said with nabbing, it goes to your hand. I think so. I know deals go to your hand. Yes, it goes to your hand. Okay. But he doesn't have any influence, so I can't use it to buy anything. And I don't have any more activation. But, oh, for winning the fight, I can get... I need to get a token. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, that's the wrong one. I'm trying to take my no. <laughs> and that's it. All right. I had to use like everything though, because Alicia never fought you. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> you you got this guy's got fight. That guy's got fight. No, because I didn't know that this was free the first time. I could have fought the turn before, but uh, shiny will go. I, I didn't know I had I, the activation. Oh, I had asked you if you wanted to activate it when you played it. I did. Hmm. But I thought it cost the yeah. activation. Add to my influence the pool. Hmm. I will pay, play Palaver, just going to gain a credit, and then I can also, for my activation, I'm going to buy. 
It's going to give me two, three, four, five, five to get something. And I want. Hmm. Are you Walmart. still at? You're at twelve power. And this is gonna go back. A leaf is at. Eight. Uh, I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. And I, I know, that was my, I use my activation. I'm now at three. <laughs> I use my activation, so all I can do is recruit. But I only have enough for one, and all these cards require activation, so these are all going to go. And I'm done. Your turn, Alicia. Do I have 12? Yes. Okay, so you would you play in would you put in play? The Bonnie May? Yeah. Trigger this card to gain one credit when you make a deal. Mm -hmm. So this is an instant trigger. Mm-hmm. I don't have any deal cards. That's okay. <laughs> but I have this for the monies. Okay. Yeah, but it's gonna and give you two. And if I discard this one... Then you could get a it? token. Okay, so that's what I want. I want a token. Okay. So that I can have another activation. Do you want an activation this turn, or do you want to save it? Maybe I want to save it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can recruit then. Actually, what activation did? Oh, you just played this guy, right? Uh huh. Yeah. So you have you can recruit then. You want to buy anything? Can you? No, I can't buy anything. Okay, you're not using your tokens. You're done. Okay. These guys come up here. Um, I'm going to do... I'll do this for my activation to draw a card. All right. Okay, yeah. And... I'll gain one more activation to play the mercenary down and uh, then I'll spend these two for recruit action for three. Okay. Power. That's it. I'm gonna draw four. Hmm. Time to fight. <laughs> Alicia getting getting beefy there. Too beefy. Uh -huh. So I'll play my mercenary. And I'll add two to it. And I'm choosing your that one there. This card counts as a core space when played. Or move to your display area with another core space card. This card has no influence. Okay, so it's got power of six. I have one, two, three. The big cruiser. Four, five, six power there. Okay. This guy. Okay, you're at, I put you at seven. I have plus one power used. 
Sorry. Add a power when used in a fight. You gotta speak louder. Uh, mm -hmm. With other Marines in your display area. So if you get another Marine, it'll give you plus one power. This one? It has to be in your display area. This is your display. This is your can tableau. Can move it? Uh, you can move it, yeah. So but then would this... Um, uh, well, first, you don't need to. Because you need to. You're, you're, yeah. You don't need to right now. I am at, you're winning. I'm at two, three, four, five, six. You oh. played this. Now you're at seven. <clears throat> okay. I'll play my crow. So now I've got three, Ooh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to your seven. So now you can play your marine. But is it not? It'll give yeah. her a plus two for each of them. So it's oh, okay. two, four, and that's six. That's ten. Ten. And I do not have any more cards Ooh. with that symbol. So you win. I'm going to lose all this. These are going to go. Mm -hmm. And you get to choose to have a token to, uh, what's the other ones? Draw cards. A draw token. Card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I cannot afford to buy anything, so I'm done. Oh, actually, I could. No, I attack. That was my activation. Okay, your turn. So does this go away now? No, you you won. Oh, that does. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. I should have chosen something weaker. <laughs> you wanted the three points, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna Five. take that card too. Mm. I wanted to nab it. It's, so it it that slows 11. her deck down because yeah. it gets rid of a core space. Uh huh. She needs a plus but that two. That one's cheap. Yeah. We, oh, you can't target it. Okay. Okay, I'll put this guy. So now I'm at 13. Yep. That's your <laughs> activation. Or your, mm. your activation. You can still recruit if you'd like. Or spend your tokens. Uh. For an extra activation. What does the warrant do? So the warrant will basically, she flips this Two. and places it on a character. Four. That character can't be triggered or used in fight. Ah. Yeah. I'll take this. Okay. That's it. All right, you're going to be drawing that one card and then four more. <laughs> we got to stop her now. She's got 13. I know. Okay. Let this... Having one trigger, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> okay. She only has one card we can get rid of, too. It's the... only the six? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even realize that. Those are just okay. the ones that I started with. I never then bought any fighting cards. I can't do it. <laughs> All right, so, so I'll, I'll try. Uh, yeah, I'll have to. I don't have enough to go after that, and I don't. If I use my trigger to draw a card, I can't attack. She's got Marines though in her hand, almost oh, for sure. Oh no! Because her deck's so small. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you don't know that. I'll play Serenity. Okay. Um, then I'll do. I don't even have a lot. Oh, I should. That, never mind. Oh well. I only have two here to get. Them. All right. Sorry. Not enough to fight. I'm gonna go ahead and tap Victor. I can discard a card from my hand, draw a card, and I gain an extra activation. Nice. All right, I'm going to have to fight your cruiser. Oh, that big, big massive guy. cruiser. Yeah. And I'm going to start with my mercenary. I'm going to have to spend two credits. Is the limit two for that? Yes. Yeah. Up to two. So I'm at three, and then I got I drew crow. Luckily. Which puts me at six. So you're at six. Or, yeah, you're at six. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Which is enough. 
Put you at seven. Seven. My torturer. The other marine. Uh, ten. Ten. I have this Womack, which gives me plus two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These guys just let me discard a maneuver to cancel a maneuver. This lets me draw a card when I cancel a maneuver. This one lets me gain a recruitment or an activation. This lets me discard another card from my tableau to gain four credits. And this guy can't fight. He's just a defender. Oh. Uh, you win. I can't stop you. No. So you could take a token or a credit or what's the other one? A token. Eh. What's the other one, Kelly? Um, I don't know. Discard the Tiffany lamp to play Niska. What is the Maybe issuing a warrant a character? Again? Uh, it prevents. You can prevent people from uh, activating things. Mm -hmm. So you can spend two, mm -hmm. flip one of the ones that you spent over, and place it. Now Niska can't activate anymore. Mm. Uh, Forever. Yeah, when until oh. the card goes away. Uh, and that's the end of my turn, which would just mean I'm going to draw up back to five. And, and at the beginning of Alicia's turn, she, she has wins. three, oh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes, so that is enough exactly. for you to win. Alicia exactly wins. enough. Dang it. Good job. Yeah, good job. Oh. <laughs> that's Firefly Misbehaving by Gail Fort Nine. Alicia, you won. How you, how's it feel? I never got to use my crazy eye. <laughs> I you was really like, wanted to use crazy I was ready. Eye. I was like, put another card. <laughs> but then uh, <laughs> I didn't need to use it. <laughs> nice. All right. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. Um, I started to get less and less cards at the end because... You, know, you played them. Yeah. All played out. So I, it's kind of good, though, because at the end, you just have the good cards left. The one you want in your hand. So yeah. That, yeah, I, I like that because a lot of times in deck builders, to get rid of things in your hand, you have to have certain cards or do certain other things. Whereas with this, it was a natural element of, of thinning your deck with playing them into your tableau. I think that was a cool kind of interaction of yeah. the tableau mechanic along with the deck building mechanic. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was interesting too. Um, these decks are small. I was like, wow, a deck builder with only like 20 cards, cards for each of these? You're but gonna you don't need out. a lot. No, you yeah. don't, you're not going to run through this deck not even close. I think we pulled maybe like, what, five, six cards from each deck? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it made sense that you're going to be um, only needing a certain number of them. I like, too, that each faction had kind of different abilities and a different starter deck, even though they, they had some similarities. They kind of have di different flavor to how you would play, right? Mm-hmm. I like that. The only negative I would say is there was a little bit of what felt like king making in the game where I spent probably too many resources trying to stop Michael because my turn was right before his, which um, it slowed you down, me which down you slowed me down a bit, and then she was able to catch up. Yeah. And I wasn't able to slow her down. And uh, I think she, part of it, too, is just being this being our first play of the game and all of that, something we can watch out for next time. And she uh, didn't have much to fight. Look at her whole yeah. board. Her whole board had only one thing we to fight. We couldn't target a lot. I didn't have... The only fight cards I had were my Marines and my big guy. So. I don't have any other fight cards. And you didn't play out your Marines, yeah. I, did, I played out mm -hmm. one. She yeah. played out one. Oh, she had to later. Use it. She had to use yeah. it because I was yeah. fighting. I was, trying to get, I was trying to get rid of this to slow mm -hmm. her down a bit. Mm -hmm. But that's, I think, the benefit of that. It's it's a little bit slower than us. We get It gets like less credits and whatnot. Like mine gains... Mine's a credit like gainer. I gain tons yeah. of credits. But... Yeah. Hers are just hard to kill. My, my character, uh, Serenity, is like more flexible, I think. Had a little bit of everything. Jack of all trades. <laughs> Another thing, too, is these episode cards we didn't use, but yeah. you can change them up. Uh, you can have additional win conditions, like power in tableau. Um, win condition is to power in your tableau. Uh, That's the regular one. Oh, okay. Or yeah. start your turn with at least two locations from the market in your tableau. So some of them will have the little world symbol in their location. That's how you get rid of the black ah 
so the symbol. Start your turn with two market cards in your tableau and no double cross supply cards in the supply. Then make a deal for a card in the market. And those ones have certain um, supply cards that they'll start out with. Yeah, it tells you on the bottom of the those. market, yeah. yeah. Win the game. Start your turn with at least four core cards in your tableau and at least eight credits. So there's mm -hmm. ways you can win by getting money. And these are mm -hmm. all different variations on how to win the game. There's probably like 20 of them. So you can always change the game up as to how you want to play. Um, and you're not always going to be fighting. Sometimes you're going to be trying to win with credits. So that's kind of an interesting little twist as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. I almost wish I could have like joined in the fight. There being three, I don't know if that's just because there were three players this game. Because I had a couple of fight cards, but just not enough to go after Alicia. Like, yeah, but you oh. also want to make sure that she's. It's not impossible. It's it doesn't want her yeah, to munchkin. Yeah, not impossible for someone yeah, to win. You know, munchkin. Yeah. If you play yeah. that game, when somebody hits level nine, they want to get to level ten to win. Everyone Everybody just smushes after. them, yep. mm -hmm. and they can't win the game. Mm -hmm. And then somebody sneaks in. And so I think it tries to avoid uh, doing that. Elongating um, the end of the Because if I would have gotten right? another yeah. plus two, I would have stopped her. Mm -hmm. um, if, mm -hmm. I, if I would have... And been, I had two plus... my crazy Ivan. Yeah. I had two, two power fight cards. I could cards. have discarded one of your fight cards. Reset a card or discard a random card from your hand to discard any card in the display area during a fight. Wow. Yeah, so Ooh. this can prevent people mm -hmm. from... Yeah, that's protection. why I got two of these because I only had a total of three fight cards, the two in my hand mm -hmm. and the one on, mm -hmm. on my tableau. So I'm like, well, I don't have fight cards, so I'm going to get that one. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a very unique deck builder. Yeah. Um, and I like the fact that they added extra cards so you can change... Uh, into the supplies. So if I wanted to run the dart, or I wanted to run a uh, Fei Wu, or negotiation, or double cross, instead mm -hmm. of like maybe misbehave, you can kind of do that and change the game up. No more, instead of th stealing three credits from a player or canceling a deal, uh, instead I can have this. Cancel a deal, steal, tax, or double cross card. So it's just adding different ways to play the game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it has a little bit of a kingmaker situation, but that's going to be how it works with most of these type of deck builder fighting games where one player is ahead and we have to all go up against them and somebody yeah. can sneak through. Mm -hmm. But overall, it was a fun experience and all the decks played differently and I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a great game. You guys as well, you think it was great? What did you think? A, yeah. a through F. <laughs> On the spot. I like to grade it as I would play it again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I give it an A. Yeah. Would you play it again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, two, three, or four players? Probably more players. Four. Does playing this game make you want to learn about the TV show at all, or not really? Um, I wasn't really focused on that. <laughs> I, I don't usually but focus... But it's shiny. <laughs> I don't really focus on the theme, usually. Unless it's like... A theme that I personally yeah. resonate with. <laughs> I really liked playing a Serenity character because I got Mal and Zoe and they, you know, Mal has the, the quote, I to, aim to misbehave. She, uh, so basically it's like uh, the Avengers, right? I played as Thanos and you played as like... Uh, Chris Pratt. No. 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 You played as more of like um, Nick, uh, Nick Fury and his organization. Oh. Uh. It's kind of like governmental and like government control trying to help, but they also want power. And then she was like the Avengers, the main mm -hmm. core group of people that you see in the episodes. So of course she would want to be that. But anyway, that's the game Misbehaven <laughs> Firefly by Gale Force Nine. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description where you can take a look at it. All right, Callie, take us out. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can check this game out. The link will be in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. And while you're down there, hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to see more video playthroughs like this as well as reviews. Uh, we got some fun ones coming up pretty soon this week. Uh, I think Alicia and I will, will do a video together this week. That'll be fun. And um, join us. Sunday evenings now on Twitch. We have our stock launch here on Twitch. Sunday 6:30 p.m. PST. Uh, you can watch us play games just like this one. Interact as we play. Bet on who's gonna win. All that fun stuff. And check out the website unfilteredgamer.com for blog reviews and giveaways and all that fun stuff. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time.